many weeks and months to come. They're keeping this very good run going, and they've got goals again, which is their stock in trade, Alan, isn't it, really, the visiting team? Yeah, it is. Again, uh, another couple of goals to add to their tally. But they were... Put
It is opening night. A huge night for both sets of fans. Match day one in the UEFA Champions League. Who will get off to a flying start? Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And welcome on a rainy night. The heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It is Basel facing Manchester City. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. So the initial 11 for the home side. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker. He's going to be angry with himself, Lee, having failed to take that chance so early in the game. Well, the first chance of a game is important, but the first goal, sometimes it comes, you're not expecting it. Match day one in the Champions League, always exciting. And as soon as the teams were drawn into this particular group, we all thought, my goodness, that's a hard one to predict the outcome of. Oh, wow, well, the so-called group of death, it really is a competitive one, this one. Imperative, you get off to a good start. You don't want to be playing catch-up when there's two teams like that ahead of you. Fine cross into the middle. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Can he make this move count? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And options in the centre. And a good-looking ball. He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil. It should be one-nil. It really should. with Vidmer. It's a very neatly constructed attack. What can they do from here? Options galore. And that's a corner. And now the delivery. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Really, that would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. Kalulu has it. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Aldo Kalulu. He could give it away here. An awful lot of green space to run into. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. Carrying a genuine threat here. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And the cross is very much on. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. Manchester City did lift a European trophy, the Cup Winners' Cup, back in 1970. You grew up watching them and slipped through beautifully. Touched onto the woodwork. Corner for Manchester City. And he's fired over the corner and clears his lines. Now well, that's not watertight defending. Given away by Basel. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner.
And a deep corner into the centre of the area. Well, it might still work out for them. Strong play here. On the ball, Noah Okafor. Raul Petretta. The ball with Rodri. Alexander Zinchenko. Will there be a tangible end product? And Foden taking care of business defensively here. Alexander Zinchenko. And Foden. In full control of the ball here. Just wanted to get it out of there. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Tremendous vision. He's really sliced them open. Bernardo Silva! The opening goal. Due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And so the game back in business, City ahead here. Raul Petretta. Okafor. It is a decent looking attack here. Foden. A City free kick forthcoming. And a substitution in the offing. can he do here and that's some um, goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that maneuvering his way forward beautifully timed and here's Rodri towards Bernardo Silva Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Petretta has it. Atimiko Pululu. Given away by Basel. A corner will ensue.
you. And Manchester City going to the bench. A double substitution here. And now the delivery. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? The cross is on. It's been whipped towards the near post. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. Bululu has it. And it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Is he going to punish them here? Okafor. Carrying a genuine threat here. Oh, that's an awful finish. And the goalkeeper could do nothing but hang on to it. Easy save for the keeper. Absolutely terrible finishing from the attacker. Well, let's see. Does he mean business? Looking confident. And it might be. No worries for the keeper. Timiko Pululu. It's with Widmer. Will there be a tangible end product? Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Targets available. Cross comes in. Not messing around with that clearance. And can he make this move count? And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. just off target well I wasn't expecting that I'm pretty sure the goalkeeper wasn't as well it was close Jack Grealish nothing wrong with that idea oh surely Bernardo Silva and in it goes a perfect header exactly what they were looking for well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. Well, a second goal for them here. And only two minutes remaining here. Okafor. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Aldo Kalulu. And it's gone behind for the corner. And over comes the corner. Keeper did his job to begin with. And the header goal it is. Right on cue. Well, quite a lot of the time you need good movement to get away from your marker, but you also need brilliant, brilliant delivery. And this is as good as it gets. What a header. And full-time it is. Manchester City pick up all three points in this, their initial game of the Champions League season. Well, it's everything you want from the start of match one. Good, strong start. That result will give everybody confidence, especially the players. He's going to be angry with himself, Lee, having failed.
Well, what a special game we have for you tonight in the group stage. Both teams with real ambitions to go far in this competition. It's Manchester City. They take on Borussia Dortmund. And the action is next on EA TV Live. A stadium that's experienced more and more of the limelight in recent years. We're at the home of Manchester City ahead of this European contest. My name is Derek Ray and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It is Manchester City against Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, both teams got off to a flying start in their opening group match, didn't they? But something has to give tonight. Looking forward to this one. And here's the Manchester City lineup. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central strike will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. This is the look. He just needs to stay level headed now. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, the verdict is a penalty kick. And how important is this moment with the game level? Well, with a chance to go into the lead from 12 yards with a goalkeeper to beat, I'll take that any day. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, as we see it again, I can tell you his nerves will have been jangling, but he kept his nerve. Really good penalty. Let's go back to the goal that was scored. And so the game back in business, City ahead here. Tiamue Bakayoko. Ball with Pablo Fornals. So, glancing at the table, and I must say, when the teams came out of the various pots for the Champions League draw, this was the one that stood out straight away. What a riveting game this promises to be. Well, we're in for a real belter, I think. So much hype leading up to this game. Both teams expected to go deep into this competition. Can't wait for this one. Jaden Sancho. Bakayoko has it. And using his strength to shield the ball. Sancho now. The ball with Rodri. Tremendous vision. He's really sliced them open. And it might be. Wanted to see, it's hard to see them throwing this away. Well, in this replay, you're going to see a 2v1 against the keeper. How does that happen? He'll be asking his defense why he was left exposed, nothing he could do. Second goal for them here. Chene, Bakayoko, Jan Fieter Arp. Sancho now. Playing with purpose and control. Well, his opponent bamboozled. 
Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. Given away by City. It's with Bernardo Silva. Gabriel Jesus. I must say, no shortage of space. Pushed into the penalty area. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Well, they are on the wrong end of the scoreline. But, Lee, your overall thoughts on their current situation? Well, 6 out of 10 for Dortmund in this first half. They need to just up the tempo a little bit in the second half. They're nearly there. Just get a bit more aggressive in midfield for me. Get the ball wide, get the ball in the box and really stretch the opposition. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Targets available, cross comes in. Just wanted to get it out of there. Gabriel Jesus now. The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. And Foden, and showing fine vision. Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. And in possession, Milenkovic. And he favours the inside route. Good vision from Gabriel Jesus. And a goal for City! The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? has been one-sided but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going and Manchester City moving the ball with purpose it is a fruitful forward run that is a moment he would dearly love to have back if possible yeah, it wasn't his best effort was it but I bet he thought I haven't got anything on why not try a shot We've been waiting to find out, now we know, a minimum of three added minutes here. Dan Axel Zagadou. Jaden Sancho. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Given away by Guerrero. And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. Whatever way you slice it, a good night's work for this fellow so far. Lee, just possessed there, Partey. Now, oh, what could he do here? Ronaldo Silva waiting in the middle. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. And Axel Zagadou, it's with Guerrero, Thomas now. Thomas, carrying a genuine threat here. And you don't want to lose possession there. 
And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And a Dortmund corner. here it'll be a corner and he's fired over the corner an opportunity with the header but not troubling the goalkeeper at all Lee well I say one thing technique and he didn't have any that is how to apply the pressure Gabriel Jesus. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. On the ball, Bakayoko. Thomas. Dan Axel Zagadou. Guerrero. And the ball with Ark. In full control of the ball here. Now Van der Beek. Tremendous block. Nikola Milenkovic. And the ball with Arp. Sancho now. Bakayoko has it. Jaden Sancho. Oh, he needs to be careful here. And Axel Zagadou, Guerrero, Bakayoko, Sancho now, and given away by Dortmund. Attacking possibilities on the flank for City here, and whipped into the box. Well, that was anything but a textbook head early. Well, to be fair to him, it's not the easiest of chances. He's just caught you off the top of his head, really. And given away. From the bake. with Guerrero Guerrero oh, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger and only two minutes remaining here let's see what he has and close to goal you never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Dan Axel Zagadou. So, the full-time whistle, and another three points in the bag to add to the total from match day one. You've got to conclude, Lee, that they're in a superb position to qualify for the knockout stages now. Well, absolutely. Boxes tick, job done, faultless start, say it as you will. Took control of this group, and they look pretty awesome to me.